is by saying that because it's for public safety and if the government thinks so, then it's justified for killing the perpetrators. Even though it's just the act of publishing pornography even though it's just the act of hacking, such as what's happening in China, or other cyber crimes as well. It's okay if the government thinks it's that way. Go to Cuba, perhaps you'll enjoy it, Castro. <laughs> now, that's what the opposition is actually standing for. Creating a dictator, which the government will choose which one is wrong and which one is right, on their own basic thinking. Now, that's completely wrong, and we say that the super body, for example, like completely saying all jurisdiction should abide by banning all their penalty is completely fine, it's completely okay because no one would have the right or the authority to decide what's wrong and what's right according to their own way of thinking. Now China might think that hacking is a big deal, that's why we should act but by putting them into death penalty. So done, Pro prosecuting them death penalty towards prostitutions. Now these are the kind of thinkings we do not want and this is why we say all jurisdictions should ban death penalty. Now, Michelle has clearly spoken on several good reasons, saying that two wrongs does not make a right. Novel never proved or never touched on this, but just dismissed and say that's not what we're talking about. Now, one thing we are saying is that two wrongs does not make a right, meaning when you kill a person who killed another person, it's never just, it's never right. How would you prove that that person deserves to die just by killing another person? That means the government is being a hypocrite by putting something in the law that they do not believe in. They're putting a death in the law by actually saying to the public, no, we do not want you guys to kill people, but if you kill people, we're going to kill you back. Now that's being a hypocrite, and that's what the proposition will not stand for. Now, no, sit down, Nofal, you had your chance. Now, Nofal also stated one brilliant point. If you offend the government, you have the right to be killed. Again, Castro much. Now, this is not. This is why we say that the government should not have the right to say what is right and what is wrong. Not for clearly miss the Sit down. Now, now, Nova also said that there are some, several evil acts that he's going to base his arguments on. Now, first of all, on the basis of terrorism, how death penalty will not have a deterrent effect. First of all. Terrorism are suicidal bombers. That means they're not afraid of death. You want to put death penalty on them, it will not reduce terrorism at all. No deterrent impact will be there. No deterrent effect will be there. What's the use of implementing it? By actually putting them in prison with life, with no parole, that means you're actually restricting their head from talking towards the subordinates. You are not putting them a challenge on saying that if you blow up a building, we'll kill you as well. You're not giving them the challenge of saying no. Sit down, no. again, you had a chance. Now, again, saying about serial killers, and he admit this too, it's a habitual. That means whatever you do, you want to implement death penalty as well, it will not reduce serial kill because it's a habitual and a psychological effect. Yeah. Psychological impact, sorry. Yeah, so that means it will not reduce if the person has a habit of killing other people or raping other people. That means they would still do it even though there has a chance of death penalty in front of them. It's a habit. It cannot be cured. No false said so. Now, yeah, okay, over. if he is unable to be cured, why keeping, it, keeping him for so long when we could effectively remove them from existential threat to our society? If he is not affected, then we remove, remove him from all uh, from the earth. That means if a person is handicapped, he's not affected to do anything, remove him from the earth. No, that's what Nobel is saying. Something's wrong with the brain, remove him from the earth. Sit down. Now, that's basically, again, a wrong statement from Nobel. Thank you for saying that. Now, I got two major points of arguments to back up all the jokes I've said. No, first. There has not been any evidence of the trend impact. Now I've kept on saying this again and again. But clearly, the government, the opposition team has not given a specific proof where the trend impact will exist if death penalty is implemented. For example, in China, publications of pornography is prosecutable with death penalty. But the fact is that Chinese pornography business is actually booming. YouTube, you porn is filled with Chinese pornography. There is no way that that penalty is actually going to reduce this. Sit down. In Sudan, prostitution is actually prosecuted with death penalty. But prostitution is actually supplied to the military. And how can you say that prostitution should be the prosecuted with death penalty? Now again, there has not been deterrent impact in the major places that death penalty has actually been implemented. Now, on the second point, but before I go on, any points? Well, so, don't you think that exactly the reason you think that 
um, you're supposed to think that basically pornography is not the same as death penalty. It's also relative to say that when you kill a genocide, it's not the same as death penalty. So it's same relative. Now, speaking about genocides, again, going back to it for the third time, people don't listen. No, by actually saying that you're going to kill genocide, genocide is actually done by the government. The government who is the one who actually does genocide, how are you going to touch the government in the first place and how are you going to make them not do de genocide anymore? It's not feasible in the first place because doing that penalty will not stop any government from killing whoever goes against them, whoever goes against an oppressed government. Second of all, if you say that genocide is completely wrong, put him in, in prison for life without parole. That means he has no influence, he has no outside communication, he cannot get out of prison, even though outbreak happens, he will still get caught again, whatever it is. At the end, said don't be, at the end, death penalty will not work. Life without parole would actually be better and would actually go with the concept of humanity. Now, my last point would be that no law or no judicial system is perfect. Speaking about US, speaking about China, no law is perfect. Now, we see that mistakes do happen. Mistakes will eventually always happen and a person will get killed or prosecuted with death penalty for something he did not do. How is that justifiable to implement death penalty in a judicial system filled with one judge and a jury of 12 people deciding on your life? Now that's completely wrong. Depicting that a person is actually stated that he murdered or he murdered eight women, for example, or raped eight women. How would you say that, ju that jury will not take a bias on saying that he's guilty for killing eight people? and just straight say that he should, be, he should be prosecuted with death penalty. Now that's why we say no judicial system is perfect, no jury is perfect, that's what is said by the seminar, no adjudicator is perfect. How would you say that, the, that these laws should be implemented and at the end should be prosecuted with death penalty? That has not been proven by team opposition, I'm waiting for my teammate to work on this. So, by stating all these points, Norfolk has not proved anything except trying to kill his own, his own cases. We shall, prove, uh, we shall set up a good case, and I actually do off the floor. So therefore, opening government takes us in the way.